But first, we just thought this was interesting and worth addressing. So Candace Owens raised a pretty relevant question the other day on social media and got a huge response. She wrote this. Serious question for men. Do you think that the Botox filler fake lips look attractive? Now, that's a real, that's a real question because all of a sudden everybody in power has fake faces. Nancy Pelosi looks like Michael Jackson, not being mean, but it's true. The governor of Michigan, Gretchen Whitmer, clearly keeping Botox stock afloat single-handedly. And then men are in on it, too. What part of Joe Biden is still real? None. Jeff Bezos? Completely transformed by this stuff. So we thought we would ask Candace Owens, like, what's going on here? Is this a sign of something deeper, a deeper fakeness infecting our leadership class? Candace Owens is, of course, the host of The Candace Owens Show. We're happy to have her now. Okay, so Candace, what, I mean, you address the, the, the most sensitive topics in American life. You know, race, religion, like, you're not afraid of anything. But this got a huge response. Why? <laughs> Oh, man, Botox gate. I was very surprised. I landed myself in a puddle of uh-oh, and I'm laughing out loud now because I can never look at that photo of Nancy, Nancy's eyebrows and not <laughs> chuckle to myself. But, yeah, I've been very curious, and I cover this on my podcast all the time, talking about our psychological immune system, meaning that we're constantly looking at all of these digital toxins. We scroll through our phones on social media, and then we suddenly start emulating the behavior that we see. You know, case in point, wear a mask, save lives. Now people are suddenly yeah. masking their children and won't go outside. Where an element of that is that you go on social media and everybody's starting to look the same. It's like Avatar. It's, it's very bizarre. And I'm not against <laughs> people that want to get Botox and nip and tuck. I don't personally do it. But I was curious if men found this new face that everyone has decided upon to be attractive. And boy, was I met with so much heat from women. I have a close friend of mine who gets Botox. She said, Candace, you're launching a war on us white women. How dare you? This is what we have to do. And I realize that some topics, Tucker, are in fact too sensitive. And I would like to apologize to all of my fans and listeners. And I will leave your Botox and your filler alone. But we should investigate what is happening to Nancy's eyebrows. Well, I agree with that. But in, and everyone is starting to look the same. And that's a really insightful observation, which never occurred to me. But men? I mean, I don't want to be judgy. Everyone does his own thing or whatever. But it's a little bit. There's something a little bit awful about that. Is there not? Well... I'll tell you what's awful about it. The first thing is that men age like fine wine. Men actually get better as they age. It's just a fact. A man at 20 is not going to look as good as a man at 45. So it's really bizarre that they're trying to hold on to their youth when women prefer older guys when they start to get gray hair and things of that nature. And yet yeah. they, too, are being impacted by this psychological immune system on Instagram. And everybody's starting to look the same. You know, it's very hard to tell the difference between a trans man and a woman that's been getting a lot of work. And this is just where we're at today. And we should. I wanted to open the the conversation and say, hey, it's possible to just like your face and to age gracefully. And I learned that uh, people are not ready yet to have that conversation. I agree. I never got any plastic surgery until I turned 65. And then I was like, you know, I have no choice. At this point. Just, just kidding. Uh, Kansas, it's great to see you tonight. Thank you for that. <laughs>